We've got the biggest network of residential offices around the world. We've got over 500 offices. Our buyers are increasingly global. They're increasingly looking uh, at property in several centres uh, at once around the world. Our agents are all leaders in their local markets. To us, it's really important to bring them together on a regular basis so that they get to know, trust, like each other. And by doing that, they will know that their clients will be well looked after wherever their property interests are light, whether locally or abroad. Historically, the, the Riviera market you know, has been since more than 100 years, you know, the place where, say, the wealthiest uh, like to come. A very international clientele. I would say that we nearly have no transactions with French people unless sellers still within the Saint-Tropez market. We see increasing global activity, people from around the world looking at other destinations other than you know, their, their own um, countries and areas to purchase property for investment or own use. My name is Alison Hoybiak. I own Kint Properties in Niagarf. Our clients basically um, come from England and Ireland and they're buying properties on golf courses. It's actually been very interesting for us to see the profile of our buyers changing a lot over the last five years. The buyers now um, tend to do a lot more homework, they spend a lot more time buying, they look in the south of France, they look at Spain, they look in all the different areas and it's nice for us to see as agents that they return and come to buy in Portugal because I think that's where they feel that we have the biggest upturn still on the market. Our prices still have a long way to go in comparison to similar resorts in the southern part of Europe. Uh, I guess the kind of properties in Singapore is pretty straightforward. In the recent two years, we are seeing U.S. Uh, buyers coming into the market because they are enjoying a tax uh, privilege uh, as compared to other foreigners due to a free trade agreement that this country has with Singapore. Monaco, I think, is uh, still at the top of the list of um, average price per square metre being the highest in the world and uh, we've just completed a deal where we were selling at 65,000 euros a square metre for a penthouse right in the centre of Monaco. So yeah, it's a well-deserved reputation, very expensive. Uh, the hot spots in Los Angeles, um, you know, are, are a couple of cities and it's really called the Golden Triangle, which consists of Homeby Hills, Bel Air and Beverly Hills. Uh, and then if you can get a view property within those hot spots, it's amazing. It's like ocean land, uh, you know, the, the God's not making any more of it. So there's a limited supply. Whenever you have a limited supply and a high demand, you obviously see a tremendous increase in pricing. Over the course of less than 20 years, the market has uh, changed dramatically. Uh, if you come to Moscow today, it is very cosmopolitan. The taste of the Russian, I believe today they're becoming more and more sophisticated because they're traveling all the world over. So there's still uh, an enormous amount of value to be created through clever design of properties. You should buy in San Francisco because it's um, a very beautiful city. We have the wine country close by. We have Tahoe close by. And it's a small enough city that makes it accessible. So this is a great place uh, to buy because it's uh, very, very up and coming. Um, it still hasn't even started to develop its potential. Um, and we have a lot of incredible new products that have come on, uh, the, the number one being Sugar Beach. I think that the next hotspots in Los Angeles are, are going to be places like uh, like Malibu, the secondary homes, uh, places like La Quinta, Palm Desert. We're starting to see a lot of developers come in and build uh, some high-rise buildings, uh, 20, 30, 40 stories. It's a great place for people also to come in and invest their their money. Well, in Singapore, my bet would be any time uh, the city fringe, well-located development that's next to train station, and also the prime city development which is any time, you know, um, it's easier to resell and price will appreciate better. The best location in the Algarve is without a doubt Quinta Lago and Val de Lobo. Quinta de Lago is what it is, it has been that for 40 years and the supply can't get bigger. So the, the idea of just investing within this area gives people a very secure feeling of, of investing there. I would say buy in central Moscow and uh, uh, you have a choice of buying either a new development because they do hold the value or uh, buying a pre-revolutionary old building uh, because that comes with a nice uh, sort of features to it and high ceilings and again there's always uh, a big demand for that. The next hot, hot spot in the Riviera is definitely the Saint-Tropez area because uh, the, the very rich are younger than they used to be and uh, the lifestyle they like is Saint-Tropez and then 
uh, if, you, if you transfer this on the Alps where we are, the French Alps, Courchevel. The Savills brand is important for us. I think it gives them confidence that they're dealing with a, a reputable agent. Credibility factor, you know, uh, benefit from you know, a global organization and you know, the, the processes that the global organization has. The fact that we can service clients through Savills Network in London, South of France, Switzerland uh, or Americas adds huge value into our relationship and ensures the recurring business to come. Clients are increasingly um, becoming serial buyers of property. They're collecting uh, property like many years ago people used to collect vintage cars. And when they get to a new market, they want to know that they're going to receive a really professional service that's deep in knowledge of that market. And that's what our network provides.